Hello my loves, thank you so much for joining me for another unboxing. This one I bought particularly for some travel that I have coming up. Let me know if you're one of the people who still enjoys the old school pack with me. I love watching those videos still to this day. Let's get right on into it. I have a bag from Loewe today. That's right, one of my favorite newer <laughs> designers, or at least newer to me. I just got into Loewe a few years ago. I think 2019 was the first bag that I purchased and it was the puzzle bag. I've never shown it on this channel before, but I definitely need to do a review because that is an awesome bag. In true me style, I'm doing an unbagging because I've already unboxed it. <laughs> so if you watched my last video, you'll understand why I say that. We are unbagging today from Loewe. Their little dust bag is so cute because it's very simple. They just have this tag with the anagram L's in the four squares. It's always in this same kind of green cotton type bag with the chevron stitching and simple white drawstrings. You've heard me talk about the Outnet before, which I absolutely love. A fellow YouTuber, Miss Lula L. She was able to score some awesome Ferragamo loafers from there and I saw them and they are so beautiful and I was so excited for her. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I'm telling you, you're missing out. Hopefully we don't just all <laughs> flood it and all the deals are gone. But this bag came from there as well. So they do have what they call super brands every now and then, like the Ferragamo shoes that she got and the Loewe bag that I'm about to reveal to you. And yes, those items are usually past seasons but they are already a lower price than they would be in store because of that. And then they add on sale prices because of Outnet just giving great sale price. With this bag, it was already like 30% off of what it would be in store. And I got an additional savings, like 20% off of that. So I ended up paying $771 for this bag, which is crazy because there are wallets. I think the cheapest little card holder you can get is $300. It's like $295 and it's super basic. So their items are, are pretty expensive. They're great quality though, so here we go. What I got is the Loewe Cushion Tote in the size small. I have the black canvas. I've been looking at this bag for a couple of years, but to be honest, for a canvas bag, the price point was a bit much. Right now, they're over a thousand dollars for the retail price. At the time, it was over nine hundred dollars for retail price, and this is the small. So imagine the larger sizes, but they are beautiful. They have the canvas with the leather trim, leather drawstrings on the side, a leather closure in the middle, and they have the cutest little Loewe logo here at the bottom, as well as the big Loewe leather pouch here in the front. Let me give you a closer look. So this leather is a beautiful brown color with cream stitching. Everything is just done so perfectly and beautifully. In the metal, there's two leather strings that you use to close it up and just give you a little bit of added protection. But I thought that it's cute just to kind of leave them hanging. You can either tuck them inside or leave them hanging outside. And it opens up into one large compartment with the cutest stripes inside. And on either sides, there's two pockets here on this side and then two pockets here on this side. If you can see it, let's see. Yeah, it says Loewe right here in the corner. And then it has the model number here inside this pocket right there on the leather. I think it's too deep for you to see it there. It did come with a little booklet, a care booklet, and it also came with the retail tag here. And this is the small size. And then it also has the uh, maker's certificate where it's got identification numbers and all kind of stuff like that. It's very roomy inside. The thing that I really love about this bag is that it expands from a nice compact little tote and it's got these cute corners that can fold outward, which gives the bag dimension, but also expands the bag a little bit. You know, they're famous for like their structure as well. They do a great job with the puzzle bag. They do a great job with the hammock, how it's able to convert to basically two different bags. That's how I felt about this one. I thought it was so cute that it can go from just a regular square to this kind of trapezoid. And right now it's very structured because it's brand new. If you can see these squares, they're actually magnets. And so they're on both sides. So when you don't have the bag full and you do move the corners out of the way, it does actually close and you can hear it. So I thought that was really cool. It's kind of like a doctor bag where it's got these really sturdy, almost metal feeling rods here at the top and that magnetic closure. They did a beautiful job of giving you just enough 
without it being overkill. Like that um, tote bag situation, you can always turn it on this side if you wanna be a little more discreet with no logo, or if you don't mind showing the logo off, and I really like it for the pop of color on the bag, you can wear it this way. So again, I think it's the perfect little summer bag or vacation bag. It's a nice tote size. It can be discreet if you're in a different country. You can just walk around. It looks like a regular like leather canvas bag. There's no logos all over it, but it's still interesting enough. It definitely checks all the boxes of what I was looking for. And these little pockets here, they're a little tight right now, but again, it's a canvas bag, so it's definitely gonna stretch and conform as I need it to if I stuff it. Let me get the dimensions for you. I have to tell you that Loewe has um, a few great bags on net porte that are on sale right now, which is the parent company of the Outnet where I got this bag. They're probably newer season, on Net-A-Porte than they are than when they come to the Outnet because they're like discount on top of discount. Um, so if you're looking for something a little more current at a lower price, but maybe not quite as low as the Outnet, check out Net-A-Porte. Okay, so the dimensions on the small are 13.75 by 10.5 by 7.5. So it's a nice size bag. You could probably get like the um, MacBook Air computer in here, especially if you pop out those sides. And it's such a lightweight bag that if you do have to stuff it, I'm sure it's not gonna be a problem as far as being heavy. My other bag that's like that, um, that's really like a lightweight bag is the MM Serene from Louis Vuitton. Whereas my Fendi First, it's like the heaviest bag that I have and it's probably one of the smallest bags that I have. This is gonna be a great summer bag. It's nice and lightweight, canvas. You could also get away with it in the fall too. Well, depending on what color you get. This one's black and brown, so definitely gives fall colors, but the texture gives more of a summer vibe and I have plenty of black sundresses, if you can believe it. So I think it'll be really cute with this. So I'm looking at getting a Loewe card holder. I do have that Louis Vuitton uh, monogram card holder, but I'm looking for something a little more discreet that I can use when I travel. And I think it would be great to get a Loewe one because they're pretty much the only bags I own that you can't tell at all what they are except for this one, <laughs> unless you know. I mean, if you know, you know. But I think a card holder would be a great addition because I don't have many items, but I really appreciate their quality and their craftsmanship. Plus they do have always a line of um, elephant bags or elephant accessories where a portion goes to save the elephants. I know they did recently a collaboration with uh, some women in Kenya and made some beautiful elephant mini bags, or I think maybe all of the proceeds from that line might have gone to the cause. I'm not really sure, don't quote me on that, but the fact that they are trying to give back to different causes to help better the world is really nice. I think they're definitely worth the investment. Thank you so much for letting me share this new edition with you. And be sure that's weird. Well, that video. Oh well. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me because my audio wasn't recording. Well, that's gonna be annoying. Hopefully you'll still watch.